The Metal Review. The Metal Review.com. Hi guys, um, you're here with Natalie and uh, me, Bianca, and we're sitting with Jeff from Cataclysm all the way here in South Africa. Um, so, welcome to South Africa. Thank you. Uh, tell us how's your trip been here so far? So what far, have you been getting up to? My mind was blown. Like, really, I, like, like we said earlier, I, we came here expecting some sort of exotic adventure, and then we, we got here and realized how beautiful like, the country is and how nice the people are. And, like, it's been, I made a bunch of friends already, and they're all like, come back on vacation. Like, yeah, That's great, you definitely come back, yeah. Yeah, I would, I would love to come back. Like, it's, it's, it's a long trip from where we live, but it's, it's yeah. worth it. That's awesome. Well, it's awesome to have you guys here. And uh, you played Cape Town last night. Tell yes. us about how was the show, how did it go? It was insane. Like, first not, note started, and the roof blew up, and everybody was like, hands in the air, mosh pits, and, and it was like, Really loud. They were saying that saying the lyrics like louder than the actual music. Like, wow. That's great. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Wonderful. And um, I believe this is the end of your tour cycle. Yes. Uh, so what has Cataclysm got in plans for the future? Are you going to go chill out or yeah, get well, back the, into the, the next The next two months we're gonna just relax at home because we've been on the road all year. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> that's the plan. We're gonna sit on barbecue, relax with the the family Downtown. and stuff. And then uh, we're touring the states, uh, in the, the states in Canada with suffocation. That's going to be in October, a five-week tour. And then in December we're going to South America, so we're playing a bunch of shows over there: That's Mexico, awesome. Colombia. We're going to uh, Chile and uh, I believe Uruguay or so like a few countries in that area. And that's also very cool, so we're looking Great. forward to do that. Yes. And uh, after that, it's going to be studio time, we're going to record and we'll be in the studio pretty much most of the winter because we want to release the, the next album in the summertime. So that's just pretty basically recording, and writing, songwriting, and stuff like that okay. for us. Right. And then do it all over again. What can we expect from the show tonight? I mean, we're we're warmed up. If if we're if it's like we're, we're if we don't do it right tonight, we'll never get it right because we just we've been doing it and it's it's everything works and it's dead on. We're stoked to be here and it's exciting for us to be in South America and and the song we mastered the song is like really good and the show is like everything everything works now so it's it's really awesome to play because. At the at when you start a touring cycle, you kind of have to break the new songs in, and now they're broken in. Like you're, you're getting the real deal. Like it's, it's like a machine, and it's really awesome. Oh, exactly. Okay, and I believe you're recording the shows live. Yes. Uh, are you going to be bringing something out with the material? Yes, we want to do like a split, like a. That's actually an idea from the record label, and we thought South Africa would be perfect because they wanted to give a free live show with the next album. So it's going to be the live in South Africa, and we're recording both shows, and we will pick like, the best songs of, of both cities and, and put it on a CD and make it like a, a live CD. And it's okay. exciting too. Awesome. Okay, and let's hear some questions for you. Mm -hmm. cool. um, how did you first get involved in music? I mean, like, like any kid starting in high school, we started like, you don't think you're going to have a career out of it, you, you just start because you want to be rebels, you want to be against what's going on, and you want to just release your anger as a teenager, that's what you want to do, it's like, you want to party, have fun, and, and you know, we felt like we had something to say back then, we, uh, we had a lot of, uh, we wanted to be like the most extreme band ever, most chaotic band, and we started rehearsing and writing some music right away, and we got really lucky, because we got signed very young, we started, I think we got a record deal, we were all like 16, 17 years old, and they threw us out on the road with professional bands and with the big studios and all the stuff, and we're like, whoa. And then we kind of learned how to deal with it and how to function within the industry, because at first you're kids, you don't know what you're doing, you're just having a good time, and you don't think it's going to, you're going to have a 20-year-old career that's going to bring you everywhere in the world. And, and, 
was having problems. I think it's all, it's mostly like yeah. music chose us. It's, it's like we just did what we did as any band in high school would. You know. Well, here we are, 20 years later, and it's still yeah, like we're still really passionate about what we do. We still enjoy it very much, and we, that's what one thing we said is that the one day it's not fun anymore. That's when we're gonna quit because we don't. We don't want to do it for a wrong reason. We want to do it just because we love doing it. Um, what would you say is your most memorable show or tour? I, it's, it's, it, that's a hard question because there's so many good, cool tours and good, good memories with friends. And I, to me, it's I, I always remember mostly the, like the parties with the, the, the other bands we were having the barbecues and the funny memories on the road but for the shows I, I, I think uh, one of the big a big show for me in my, our career was uh, the first time we played with Full Force Festival in Germany that was early 2000s I think 2001 and it was our first real metal opener so we got outside playing in front of a thousands of sea of people and we're like wow really and coming from America you don't even think you would be able to perform to such a large audience and it's, it's amazing they're all really metal fans and everybody everyone's into the music and stuff and to me that's a good memory since then we're playing in lots of festivals and, and it's always fun but I also love a good club show where there's only 200 people in a small club and the energy is intense everybody's really into it and that's to me is equally as fun yeah. okay. cool. and what crazy experiences have you had on the road anything, yeah, anything, <laughs> anything from the things you can't really tell on, on camera <laughs> to <laughs> I was like, I mean, like, we got everything, but food poisoning, we got sick, we got the lost, uh, we got... <laughs> Everything and just everything. <laughs> <laughs> anything, okay. Basically, anything you can imagine that can happen, happen. <laughs> so at one point in time or another, <laughs> awesome. And it was as fun or scary or or as retarded as you think it would be. That's how it is. <laughs> All the name of metal. <laughs> yep, exactly. And you're thinking like that's what you're thinking. Yeah. It's all for metal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Well, um, you know, just as a token of appreciation and for okay. coming out all the way to South Africa, we brought you a bottle of wine, uh, awesome. South African wine. <laughs> uh, so awesome. thank you for coming out. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for your time as well, and we look forward to seeing you shortly on stage. Thank you for your support. And enjoy and the rest of the t your time here in South Africa. Awesome. Hope we have to uh, see you back here. We have one more day left to hang oh, okay, out good. and, and, and relax tomorrow and visit stuff. Okay, then awesome. We're you must enjoy it. Off back home, but the trip is crazy. To get back. We're gonna be in. I think I have five points to, take oh. to go back home, but it, it's it was worth it. Okay, great. Thanks so much, eh? thanks guys, for the middle review. Uh, thanks for watching. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>